Hello friends, this video on biomolecules part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next is the enzymes. Let's study enzymes now. Enzymes are biocatalyst. They are biocatalyst. They are responsible for large thousand number of chemical reactions happening in the body to sustain our life. And they are highly selective. For example, some enzyme is used for, to digest food, some is used to synthesize DNA, and they, they have different shapes. The shapes determine their function. Most of the enzymes are my globular protein. You see, this is how it works. They have an enzyme, they've got substrate, based on the shape, they'll absorb it and they will break it. Enzyme is still intact. Correct? So they they have different properties based on their shape and most of them are globular proteins. Correct. So we talk about the naming of these enzymes. They are generally named after the compound, the class upon which they act. Right. For example, this maltase is used to hydrolyze maltose. If you take maltose and there's an enzyme used to convert this to glucose. And that enzyme is called maltase. This ase word is used in the last for any enzyme. The, the name of the enzyme suddenly end with ase. So if you see this maltase name came because this is used to uh, break down maltose. Correct. So the naming of the enzyme is generally based on the work they do, the, the class of compound they act on. And there is a different kind of uh, enzyme called oxido reductase enzyme. So what this kind of enzyme do is, for example, there's a reaction, there are two substrates, substrate one, substrate two, and gives a product. So one substrate, it will oxidize, another it will reduce. So correct. So it will oxidize one substrate and it will reduce another, and such kind of enzymes are called oxido reductase enzyme. Correct. And if you see the mechanism of enzymes, they are needed only in small quantity. Only in small quantity they are required because see this enzyme took the substrate, broke it and the enzyme is back in the system. Enzyme is preserved. So you, you need enzymes only in small quantity. What they do is they reduce the magnitude of activation energy. Right. So activation energy that is for a reaction it is they reduce it. They are similar to the chemical catalyst, right? They are biological catalysts. That's why they are called biological catalysts. For example, if you see acid hydrolysis of sucrose, acid hydrolysis of sucrose, and the activation energy is what? 6.22 kilojoule per mole. But if you do the same thing using enzyme, you require 2.15 kilojoule per mole. So the activation energy for acid hydrolysis sucrose is 6.22 kilojoule per mole. As activation energy for enzyme hydrolysis for the sucrose is pretty less. And it generally provides alternate pathway also. It sometimes it forms a temporary complex which can easily is can easily be broken. And it also reduces the entropy change for a reaction. Why? How? By bringing substrate and uh, together, there are two substrates, let's suppose, it provides a proper orientation for the reaction to happen, right? So, the enzyme does nothing but facilitate the reaction, either by bringing substrate together, so the reaction happen easily, or forming some intermediate compound which is easy to be broken. So, that's how the enzyme works and they are required in, in very small quantity. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.